Good morning, Ocrest. I just uh, returned from Biloxi, Gulfport, and New Orleans. Some of you may know that I had family in those three areas. Um, my daughter was in New Orleans. The devastation is un unbelievable. Uh, I saw things that um, made, made me wonder how that could have happened. Um, at the golf port, boxes, when I say boxes, I mean like tractor trailer boxes, the, every, you know, that they carry food in, uh, was mangled, um, upside down, miles away from the port. I saw a tractor trailer on top of a house. And also, many people in very, very much uh, in a state of confusion. Uh, their houses, in the one area I was in, one after another, after another, after another, the entire area, 10 foot, 20 foot, some areas 30, 35 feet were flooded. So one image, one of the last things I saw before I left was the tractor trailer on top of the house. And the only way it could have gotten there is that it was thrown across the bay at least two, three miles and just crushing that house. Um, the death toll seems very low. So many people told me they stayed and if that number was also at the beaches or some of the houses that were just totally leveled, you know, they, there was no way they could have survived this. Mounds of debris, of wood, concrete, chickens, uh, boxes to unload at the golf, all put into like a, a dam of uh, 20 feet high. Um, it's, it's really a horrible, horrible situation and one that will take years to um, solve. It's a beautiful day.